garden one, or well, the herb garden full of marigolds and basil is going insane. The basil is starting to escape. And my favorite is the French marigolds that I did not plant. <laughs> of course, I didn't plant the marigolds. The other ones either, the jack-o'-lanterns. It might be going bonkers. The porch jungle is trying. And we've got some scary bees going on there. Basil that I did not plant that has taken over. My poor pet me plant died again. Ooh, look at that. He's trying to have some flowers. Not red, but they're popping up. And the other ones have, you know, sadly died, but I still love the foliage. These are starting to struggle a bit, which is sad, but there's still a few blooms down here. I don't know how well you can see this in the glare. Hopefully it survives, because those leaves are looking sad. <gasps> Yay! I wish my black and red one loaded, but look how pretty. I'll have to show y'all a picture because this does light up pretty well at night. My other sedum is doing well. And some more basil that I did not plant. Oh. Well, it doesn't have a ton of flowers, but it's definitely leafed out like crazy. And it's thinking about flowering despite Mr. Groundhog and Thumper chewing on it. My other hibiscus that is doing quite well. And Limey has recovered well even though he's not, you know, had any buds on him this year. Which is sad because they smell so freaking good. Fingers crossed for November when it usually does a second, you know, blooming. My phlox is doing well. Too bad it's not very soft. And my firecracker plant is breed, yo, blooming pretty well with all that new foliage. Garden one is doing well. I even have a daylily. And we had a bunch of ah, purple cosmos. Now they're all white ones and a few purple. And something in there talking a lot of junk with the bees. Ah! I'm gonna have to trim that marigold and some stuff because it's trying to overshadow the, the other day lily in the corner there. I do love my little planted by the birds shed garden. <laughs> <laughs> Still not sure what on earth that is that I thought was going to be sunflowers at first. Sneaky marigolds again. Love them. And we've got some little knockoff daisy weeds that are pretty so they can stay. Oh, that bloom is dying, but it looks like I've got a lot more buds coming on. Gotta trim up, but he's doing pretty well. With some fresh buds as well. Oof. Yeah, I'm thinking he's not going to make it, which is kind of sad, but I did only pay like four bucks for him. So. Trying to come back, got a nice bit of fresh foliage and some dying stuff. And my rhododendron that looks like he's got some soon to be new leaves on him. I wish that was a bud, but nope. That's fresh leaf stuff, so he's gonna grow a bit. 
And we got the big girl just chilling. You enjoying the fall weather, big girl? <laughs> See, it's not even 70. Yay. Hi, Mama. Hold this butt. This is her favorite pose to get pets. It's to hold my butt. <laughs> Garden 2 is starting to struggle with the... Yeah, into fall now. But all those seeds to replant again for next year. And the few that we still have are being loved on. Hi, Miss the Grasshopper. So cute. But don't leap in my face because I'll screech. <laughs> Go, ah! I never did figure out what on earth that is that planted itself. And we've got a few sunflowers. Not my favorites. It's not the cool black ones, but they're holding on quite well. <laughs> And this planted itself in here. So excited to see what this looks like next year. Hopefully you've enjoyed the tour. And we and the little man up to no good, I'm sure. Oscar! Yeah, I know you're gonna go look for bunnies. Enjoy this and I will see you next time. Bye!